Nothing rocket science. Just plug it in and run Resolume. No driver, no software installation needed. Make sure that your MIDI controller is connected. To check that, press Ctrl or Command plus Comma. Go to Preferences, check your MIDI settings. Make sure that it's running and then we are going to dive in. I have used Resolume Arena for this demonstration, but the idea applies for any software that supports MIDI controllers. So let's check out what we have got here. We have got 24 limited rotary knobs. That means these knobs has a limit. This can go maximum up to this and can also go lowest as this. So we have to keep that in our mind because all the perimeters we're going to map these are not variables like layer dashboard controls or layer opacity. More on that later. So we have got eight plus one fader, very mini fader. They work very perfectly with the finger, but don't expect large faders such as Akai APC 40 MK2. So this one already says master. We're going to use this one as our master fader. And we will also map these buttons to various controls that we are going to use. So this is not the way, just one of the ways to do the MIDI mapping with MIDI mix with Resolume. You are highly suggested and requested to make your own MIDI shortcuts by yourself. So we will be using some subtle visuals so that we can understand what we are doing. The bank we will be using is called Gulf Oasis. More on this bank later on this video. So let's say this is our composition for today. We have a bunch of footages here onto four layers. This layer is pretty empty, never mind. So on the composition, we have four effects. On each layer, we have some effects. And that's it. To MIDI map this composition, I'm going to start with Control Shift M or Command Shift M on Mac. So the first thing I'm going to do is MIDI map my master opacity. Because if anyone dies anytime, we can just get out of visuals. Also, we're going to MIDI map the master X with this button called solo so that we can always cut off all the visuals in our composition from here. Then we are going to get controls of these layers visual onto these faders. So first four faders control our layer one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to my composition dashboard. Then I will MIDI map these four dashboards to these four faders. I'm going to control all the FXs down here with these dashboards. So I just need to control the dashboards only. So how do we navigate between the clips? How about we have our next clip and previous clip so that we can switch between them. If you don't see this, go to view and layer transition control. So this one will have this part, also the next and previous clip. So for layer two, we go this. Previous clip, layer three, we go this. Previous clip, layer four, we go this. And previous clips. It looks good. Let's have a master transition control for all these four layers to one knob. One. So I'm going to limit this to zero to two seconds. Let's change all of this to 0 to 2 seconds. So let's try out what we have done so far. So this controls all our layers. This controls all our composition faders. Look, we have a strobe here let me explain that pretty soon so we have our next clip and previous clip controls so we can also fire visuals if there is no video playing that time and if we want to play something choppy and choppy and choppy and choppy we just reduce the layer transition 
now this is going to blend in smooth so there is an awesome vj community in whatsapp a lot of vjs are there with me we do a lot of things together we collaborate and troubleshoot each other's problems i'm going to leave a link in the description below you are welcome to join in so let's check out how we have laid our composition effects to do that i'm going to make some space here so let's start with our composition we're going to check out how we have laid out our dashboard controllers so for dashboard one we have an effects called goo let's play some visual on the background so that we know what's going on here okay this looks cool so this fx is called goo and we have connected the opacity with this dashboard it's very easy to do just let me start from scratch so this opacity i'm gonna just drag it here and we have the opacity okay for the second dashboard we have twitch but we have limited every controller to very subtle because this visual we don't want to go too messy for the third one we have a terrain and we have set the blend to displace so that we can gradually blend the effects and we're going to have more looks while we are within the effects just look at this okay for dashboard 4 we have straight up strobe and we have one perimeter connected to strobe but we are going to connect this frequency to the same dashboard and limit this frequency to 0.66 to 0.99 that's it so we have So the mix control and the frequency is in one button. So this fader here controls opacity at the same time. This controls the frequency as well. How about we want to make something different. Let's change this to basic. Let's midi map this value here with here and we're going to range this to 0.66 and 0.99 let's see what happens now so we have two separate strobing controls so now we're going to get into detail with the layer dashboards we have for layer 1, let's midi map these three dashboards to these three knobs. For second layer, let's do same thing. For the third layer, we can do the same thing but you understand, let's do it on the fourth layer only. So let's start with the first layer BG. We have the very newest awesome effects called stroke. This one, the opposite is already connected to dashboard one. Let's see what happens when we push the opposite. I think we should have a brighter visual for that. Oh, beautiful. How about we connect few more perimeters to dashboard 2 and dashboard 3 so this one here frequency is connected to dashboard 2 and the variation is connected to dashboard 3 so first of all we bring the opacity up so this is the frequency and this is the variation oh my god this effects looks so good okay enough with layer one let's reset everything let's go to layer two so we have our three dashboards mapped here so we have one effects 
pack connected here called sparkle this is a beautiful sparkly thing let's have something on the background so we have the sparkle mix we have two more dashboard knobs available so i think we can connect the size why not what happens yeah i can control the sparkle size and maybe yes the color before that let's get something advanced with the color maybe i don't know this controller yeah that's okay check out my sparkle color cool let's go to the top layer let's play some visual let's say we have this this looks good so we have three effects first effect is a radial cloner the opacity is connected to the dashboard one how can we do anything without chaser so we have to chase some way so this is our chaser oh i think i have to medium up again so beautifully chased let's see how other footages look oh this looks beautiful and how about for the third dashboard we have a linear cloner and we have put this to add mode but we are going to fix the mix level so if you feel like this video is little harder for you and you want to start from even basic i have a great news for you we have a course called Resolum Masterclass where you can start from basic and reach up to intermediate level. The link is given in the description below. You can get 10% discount using this promo. So hurry up. So let's take a look at what we have done so far. So I'm going to jam and narrate like Morgan Freeman to make it simpler for everyone. So we play the music first. Let's fire something on layer one, but the opacity was down because I'm mixing in slowly so goes to layer 2 and layer 3 I have something fired but I have turned off the opacity because I am going to hit with the music maybe I hit with layer 2 okay add some juice with layer 2 maybe I have four composition effects. I can just twitch anytime. Oh, this looks beautiful. Whoa. We hit with Chaser now. For sure we need to tap the tempo. One, two, three, go, we sync. Then we add more effects. Maybe change the clip, it's boring. Oh, this looks beautiful. Let's blend out of layer two. Let's change something to beautiful and wait for a moment to blend in like that so on layer 2 we have sparkle and the color let's change something on layer 1 because this is also boring by the way all the visuals used in this video is from a bank called Gulf Oasis the bank is specifically made for events and family moments so I'm going to leave the link in the description below go check it out My verdict, great value purchase, okay as the first MIDI controller and awesome as a second MIDI controller. Now, if you want to check out another sweet MIDI controller, check out this video next. And hi, my name is Zunaid Sabbir Ahmed. 
I know you are awesome, but if you want to get even better, check out these VJ theories. See you next time.